Hello, hello, Groove. David Lemon here for the Groove Lemonade number 56. It's my pleasure to be here with you. Hopefully you are tuned in. Hopefully you have your questions ready. And we're going to get started in a short moment. I'm going to have a, a call in a second with Skype. So I'm going to just close it real quick. There we go. Um, yeah, some exciting things are happening inside Groove. I am missing out on an important call, but hopefully we'll be able to get back to the recording. Anyway, I'm spending time with you instead of the management, so uh, I'm focusing all my attention to you guys. So in case you do have any questions, pop, in, pop them into the comment section of this live stream. I'm looking forward to seeing them. And before we start, I'm going to do an update as usual about everything that's happening. So let's start with the interesting stuff. We're rolling out the importing of contacts for Groove Mail, which is exciting. If we haven't started yet, I, I didn't get a final answer if we already did that or not yet. But I'm pretty confident that some of our uh, some of our VIPs already got access to it. We are going to be starting to roll out to everybody for, for the Platinum users first. So in case you are watching me, you're listening to my voice, and you are a free member, you should upgrade to get access to import functionality for Groove Mail. It's very exciting, and it's going to allow you uh, to kind of be more hands-on with the whole Groove platform, maybe even ditch the systems that you're using so far. So yeah, that's one of the things that uh, is, is kind of cool. And um, yeah, we are uh, we are having some um, some updates for Groove Pages. I was uh, telling you guys about some issues with the preprod server. I'm not going to go over what was the issue. If you are, if you are interested, you can watch the number 55 and the number 54 Groove Lemonade sessions. I explain it uh, in depth. Uh, we had some issues with the server they that didn't allow us to test but now as we did the test we are going to be deploying some of the features like the mega menu feature the pop-ups with a bunch of new uh, new templates for the pop-ups we're going to be deploying uh, the clone to and move to functionality we're going to be de uh, deploying a new um, a new system for the backgrounds and patterns and improvement in the backgrounds because we added a layering system so that you can have multiple layers of the backgrounds on top of each other, which is awesome. We are also rolling, rolling out a lot of different functionalities that are, that are going to be happening either today in the evening for the end of the day in the United States or tomorrow. But yes, a lot of interesting stuff is happening. The some of the SEO features like the thumbnails and the and the what's it called the robots and the sitemaps have uh, failed the testing. They be they need a little bit of modifications, and they are going to be rolling out in the next um, in the next bunch of deployments. So either the the next one or the or the the one after that. So that's super exciting. I, I was testing that uh, all of the functionalities today found some uh, some issues and the team is we're on fixing those right now and we're going to be getting those uh, deployed today. So yeah, um, I'm going to do an announcement today. I actually uploaded it to YouTube, didn't make it live yet about the version two sandbox Groove member update. Uh, we had a couple of customizations, a couple of uh, extra additions and improvements. So, so that's uh, going to be announced for you guys. And that's already live. So if you are using Groove Member, you most probably have seen those changes already. And yeah, uh, we are continuously moving towards, uh, towards making bigger improvements to all our system. But that's basically it for now. We are having uh, meetings about the... Uh, the, the launch that's happening uh, for for exiting the this um, lifetime deal, the lifetime option that's going away. So one more boost for you guys if you haven't upgraded. This is literally the the end of this lifetime deal. By the by the end of our launch this year, uh, we're not going to be offering the lifetime. You're going to be able to maybe get somebody to sell you the lifetime option but you're going to most probably pay a lot more than what you can buy the fresh new account for yourself right now so yes that's kind of 
that's kind of everything that I wanted to mention as the as the warm up. Later on, as I as I get more questions, I'm going to go in into to some other stuff. But that's all I had on my mind for now. So I'm going to open Facebook. You're not seeing what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to open the the place where I have been asked uh, some of the questions before we started. Okay, I actually have it here. And tin tin tin. Let me just zoom in, share my screen, and you're going to see what I'm seeing. You're going to be able to see the world through David Lemon's eyes. All right, going live in three, two, one, launch. So, um, not sure why it's only this small. Let me just make it bigger. There we go. Much better. Okay, hold on. I'm going here into the corner. There we go. So, Calvin Ho says, Hey, yo, David, AR champion here. I still don't know how to pronounce our champion, AR champion, arc champion. <laughs> Where can I find a new update on Groove sub pricing tier details? Um, we are still working on on the changes at this moment. We made it. Uh, we made it live on one of the previous, um, I believe it was a Groovathon or um, or um, or some presentation Mike did. We had a presentation just shown during that webinar, just that during that presentation. But we we made it offline because we're doing some changes to it. We still are tweaking the the options so that you guys who are joining on the lifetime get absolutely much better options than anyone else that will be joining. So one more thing why you should upgrade right now. We will be having we'll be having uh, improvements and updates in the future, but we want to make sure that we calculate it and the uh, and the limits and everything so that the lifetime uh, the lifetime members always get um, always get the best Thing. Of course, not the best limits. That's not what it's all about. Because those who are paying monthly will be will be able to provide them better limits, like for for video hosting, for example. Because that's something that is costing us. We we are not putting a lot of uh, uh, like we we don't add on top of the prices for that we pay for the hosting of videos and things like that. That's just a hard cost that we need to pay. So the, those users who are paying, I don't know. Two ninety nine monthly will be able to to have more hosting because they are paying for it monthly. But for you guys who are actually joining in the lifetime deal, the the limits will not be changed drastically. But the functionalities and the feature sets will be uh, will be changed. That's what we are tinkering right now with, and we don't have the the full on new pricing tier and all of the details are made available to the public because we are still working on that one. We will announce it on the during the launch when we are doing this transition to the new subscription model. We are going to be uh, making those pricing tiers available because, of course, people will need to know what is the difference between a monthly and a lifetime option. So there's that. Uh, Ragu has a question. I have set up affiliate system for one product. Um, I want to know while registering for affiliate system, is there a way that customer can get username and password in email after registration for affiliate? Great question, Ragu. There is two systems, two ways for a person to register for your affiliate program. One is if you have set up automations for uh, kind of a butterfly marketing system. Then they will they will need to kind of uh, uh, have their own Groove account, and they will actually create a Groove account themselves when you're asking on the checkout form. So let's just say you have a product, you have OS one product, and you're selling this one product. On the checkout form, include username and password. Ask for that details. And this way, you can create an automation. Just enroll those users to to become an affiliate, and they actually set themselves up an account. So we don't send the username and password out in an email. That's on that's not secured, and we want to provide a user to create themselves the password and the username that they want. The second option is not using this butterfly marketing system, but when you are actually getting them your promo tools, 
and that's uh that's another way uh to get them to to become your affiliate and let me just show you how that is done so oh, that's groove sell not groove affiliate so when you're selling your own product you go into groove sell you head over to tools and here you have affiliate portals and tools this is for your own product so you're selling something you create an affiliate pro uh, affiliate sorry affiliate program for that and here is where you can get the link or you can also embed it onto a page and this is the promo tools let me show you how the actual link will look like for a user that is not um that does does not have a groove account yet so a member that doesn't that wants to become your affiliate but is not a groove member yet they will see this page to log in to groove cell or create a groove cell account and this is where we are asking them for a username password again we are not sending out emails because the user creates an account for themselves so ragu for this one there, there is two ways one is where you actually set up an automation you have a groove cell form where the user can purchase your product and through automation you get them to become your affiliate on the checkout form where user purchase your product add the username and the password fields and you can do that very simply with the checkout forms over here sorry my nose is very itchy so um, in here where you're editing the checkout links you have the password field over here so you activate that uh, let me just make it a one-step checkout so that we can see all of the form fields and you enable the price points that you want you enable the look your you set up the look and feel that you want you can set up the, the form fields the the custom fields that you want and then here is where you can collect username and password if you turn this on ask for username and password for the different price points this is the password they will be able to use to log into groove to kind of promote your program and this is the username they will use to actually promote your program again so this is the the information and you could do that also through the through the promo tools so hopefully that helps you understand how it works we don't send out any username and password through email that is done only in groove member for now um all right let's just go on to the next question and this is from um uh, i'm i apologize i will probably butcher your name I, that's not my intention um i can call you miss tatum but i will just try and say shyester 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 sorry about that i just want to kind of personalize my answers Hello, David. I set up a clothing store in GrooveCard for a client, and he wants to give customers a credit towards their account within 40 days as his refund policy. Um, we don't have that functionality, but let's just read on. Will he still have to wait 30 days before Groove sends the money from sale transaction to his account? Or is there something I need to do to change the 30 days delay? Uh, it is connected to GroovePay and PayPal just in case that matters. Okay, um, so um, Shyester, Shyester, uh, Miss Statum, um, GrooveCart, when you're selling products through GrooveCart, Groove doesn't accept any money. So it's you that is accepting the money. You're the, you're the seller. Um, so it's not like when you're doing affiliate marketing with Groove. Uh, when you promote Groove, Groove is getting the money from the buyers and then Groove is paying out affiliate commissions. That is something that is that is managed by Groove. But the payments, when you're selling uh, clothing through a Groove card store, the customers are paying directly to your account, okay? So Groove doesn't have any kind of um, any kind of involvement in the payment processing for physical products through Groove card. Um, there is a store fee and there is, um, in, in case you're on a free account, so there's a 2% store fee and also Groove Pay and other stripe and paypal they do have a transaction fee for using their payment gateways but it's not a hard cost that and that's not something that groove manages groove only takes the store fee on free accounts and that's basically done per 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 sale um so if you sell something you pay two percent to groove if you're on a free account if you're on a paid platinum account you don't pay anything um but that's not what you're asking for. The What you're asking for is, do I have to wait if I sell my products? You don't have to wait. You get this money into your account. Um, however, what you mentioned, um, 
he wants to give customers a credit towards their account within 14 days as his refund policy. Credit is not something that you can kind of give out with a system like GrooveCard. However, you could give out a coupon. So you could give out a coupon that is kind of a, a $15 off or, or I don't know, a X amount of money or X amount of percentage off uh, of the next purchase. So that's something that you can manage and that's something that you can set up a, 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 um, set up very easily. Let me just very quickly show you how to set up different coupons in GrooveCard. Um, I do believe that's that's something that that is accessible to everybody, but credit as, as like credit, that's not something that we do. Um, so if you go into, let's just see products, and then here you have discounts. You can set up a discount. We like in GrooveSell we call it coupons. In uh, in GrooveCart we have uh, we have a button called discounts, but it's actually to set up a coupon. It's doing that. You give it a name like Mr. Walls. Um, I don't know a refund credit some sort and then because mr waltz refunded i'm going to give him credit for xyz amount you put in your description and then you put in the code or you can generate the code a random code by this generate button that you don't see behind my back over here so i just generated the random code uh, and then you can turn it on or off. You can also add conditions, limit to single user or multiple users. You can also set up how long this coupon or this credit will be active. And if you want to set up a, a dollar amount or a, or a currency amount, or do you want to set up a percentage? That's what you can set up over here. Let's just see. Okay, so USD or Euros. Minimum amount, and let's just see. Okay, here. So apply discount in percentage or apply discount in an amount. So you can manage that over here, and then you can uh, basically do some different uh, different tweaks for for getting the the actual discount set up for for this particular customer. You could set up a general discount as well during this with this, the same method. I'm just showing you for one specific customer. All right. Um, that's about it. We don't give credit. You don't have to wait for Groove to collect any money. You're getting the money or your customer or client is getting the money inside their uh, Groove Pay or payment gateway so they can manage the, the money from there. Hopefully that helps. Uh, Miguel has a question. Uh, hello, David. Uh, what is the best way to track abandoned cards with Groove Pages and Groove Cell? It's pretty easy. I have a dedicated Groove Cell domain to sell some products. Okay. Um, I would like to use Active Campaign to send emails to customers about their abandoned cards. All right. I'm not quite sure how to do how to go about it. What would be best? What would be the best solution? It does not need to involve Active Campaign. I would just like to know how to do how to work it out. Thank you, Miguel. I'm glad to tell you that it's pretty simple to do, and Active Campaign is one of the inbuilt integrations, so you can do that immediately. So Groove Cell, you're selling your product through Groove Cell. Let me just walk you through how to do it. If you go to Product Funnels. You go into the product funnel that you set up. I'm just going to this one. This is demo product that I created. And you go into editing the product. Now, in the product editing step, in the product editing wizard, step number five, the checkout, is where you can find cart abandonment. Because if somebody comes to your checkout form, they maybe filled out the first name and an email, uh, or name and an email, and they left. So what happens then? And this is where you can see your price, your price points. In my case, I have two price points. One is a $1 per month and one is another regular price that I call it. And both cases, you have an option to add an integration. So add a new integration and you can choose your integration that you have connected. Before you actually do this, you would go into your account and my integrations and then you actually connect. Um, let me just do that here. Um, you go into your account, you set up your integration your, or whatever you prefer, the actual, um, here we go. So 
active campaign aweber campaign monitor anything really from here you set up your active campaign api key and the url and you connect your account with groove once that is done then it's going to show up over here as an integration so at this moment, I have Zapier, Mailchimp, Averber, U Uzine, and Perkzilla. Uh, just to mention, Zapier will not work with this one because this is for Groove Pages only. We are going to change that um, very soon, so we're going to not show Zapier in here, but the rest of the integrations will be managed through a different system. More on that later. But for the moment, if you connect, your active campaign is going to show up over here. Then you select it then it's going to allow you to, to select a list. And then you basically add the integration. Now, that's everything that you need to do from Groove Cell side of things. That means if somebody comes to my checkout form for this particular product, they fill out the email and the name, for example, and they just leave. They don't buy it. They don't finish the, the purchase. Then they are going to be added to this list on the on this integration for my Mailchimp account, same thing applies for other integrations. And um, once that is done, you manage everything else from your integration from Active Campaign. Mm -hmm. So you need to set up an automation in Active Campaign. If somebody is added to this particular list, send them this sequence or send them this email. Okay. So here in Groove Cell, what you just do is just Add them onto a list, but everything else on what emails and the rest uh, of automations and things like that, you manage in your own integration platform. So that's how you manage cart abandonments. In here, we're going to add uh, also webhooks. And this system for cart abandonment will also be integrated with Groove Mail very soon through the different automations. Um, so... In the next couple of weeks, we're going to start working on the on the powerful automations for the whole system. That's going to involve most of the platforms, like most of the apps that are out, Groove Pages and Groove Cart and Groove Member and everything, and also Groove Cell. So if you if you are one of the users that are looking forward to to actually email your affiliates or email the people that sign up for Groove through your link or email your cart abandons or email anything or anyone through Groove Mail, that's going to be allowed through Groove Mail automations real soon. You'll be able to set up automation. If somebody does a certain task, then do this. Okay. So that's going to um, that's going to come into each and every one of the apps. So that's it for now. Hopefully you understand it, Miguel. Hopefully that helps. Brian Dunn has a question. Hi, David. Great session last Friday. Thank you. My pleasure, Brian. Uh, two questions. What are the latest updates on the SEO module and Groove member version 2 being accessible to users? Okay, SEO module, I believe that's for, uh, for Groove pages uh, that's being worked on, as I mentioned earlier uh, in my update sesh section of this Q&A. Um, the SEO module didn't pass the test, didn't pass the QA, and it was returned to the devs. It needs a couple of improvements, and then um, then once it's done. The SEO, what we are going to be deploying immediately is the sitemaps and the robots.txt. That's one task. Another task is the image proxy. Uh, I explained the image proxy last week. Um, basically, we're resizing uh, the images, making sure they are served in the best possible formats. And if somebody is, is checking the... the the actual website from a mobile phone, then the images will be resized towards that particular screen. So they're going to be smaller and load faster. And the third thing is that we're doing the thumbnails for uh, for videos. So a video element will have um, a load thumbnail first, which is going to allow you to have an image load instead of the video. So you can click on the actual play button on the image, and that's going to uh, that's going to activate the video player so imagine an image you click the image and then immediately transforms to video player so that's going to be a much faster load speed and everything uh, and that's uh, those three are coming first after that we're going to be doing uh, let me think about it uh, we had an SEO menu with 
with Google PageSpeed, checking the actual PageSpeed scores. And also we are going to be adding more on, um, on top of that with different checks for how many H1 tags you have, how many words you have on the page, how many um, things like that. So improvements for the SEO, but for the moment we are, we are almost done with the three tasks. They are just being checked. Version 2 being accessible to users, I do not have an, uh, have an ETA for that because we, uh, we are still doing some of the improvements for the builder and we do not want to, we do not want to allow bringing in customers to the, to the system before the builder is, is 100%. Um, you know, you find some of, uh, you found some of the bugs yourself, Brian, so, um, we are constantly working on the on the access levels, and we are working on the on the GrooveMember.net. That's the that's the front facing, the user facing part. Um, and and yeah, just today we had a call about the access levels. We will have two different access levels or access management. I don't know how to call it, but one will be for the course management on who gets what module, who gets what lesson, who gets what and how it's going to be delivered. So would it be instant access? Would it be drip? Would it be a custom based on a tag or maybe based on a, a certain task that they finish? Maybe they finished, a, uh, they filled out a form and only they can get access to the next step. Uh, so we just had a discussion on how to handle that. And there will be also a membership level access types, uh, which is in case you have one membership, but you have a lot of different courses. So the membership, uh, membership access levels will handle in what case users get which course. And then the course level access type will manage in what case users get what module, chapter, or lesson. So it's kind of complex. It requires a lot of work. We are working already on, on that. We have the UI ready, and, and it's, it's just basically getting put in place. I do not have an ETA on that because we're still in the process of that. But once I do have more information, I'm going to provide it to you. Um, okay, in automations, if a user uh, user is in the middle of an email sequence, the tag that triggered the sequence is removed. Does the does the sequence stop automatically, or do I need to use an automation to remove them from the sequence? Um, you would need to use an automation to remove from the sequence. If you just um, if you already started an automation and somebody's on the list, or if you if you sent out a sequence and somebody's on that list, the sequence is getting sent. They already got the trigger, so the trigger is just a start of something. It's like you start an email and then the sequence is handling the rest. So one email, then delay, then one email, then delay. Um, it's not managed by the trigger. So even if you remove the trigger later on, the sequence is still sending. So you would need to set up an automation to remove them from the sequence, and then they will stop receiving the emails. Tony Banks, a few weeks ago, you mentioned having some uh, of the Groove Member 2.0 features, creating modules added in to, uh, to 1.0, while 2.0 still is sandbox mode. Is uh, that already active on 1.0? and no longer is going to happen. Um, yes, I we I talked about that. That was the plan. I do not know if we are still moving towards uh, that one uh, or not. I will need to double check. I would I would want to do it, but I would I would even prefer that we focus mainly on the actual version two because the more devs we have on that, the more quicker we can get the new version out, and the more. Uh, version 2 will be more powerful only only one thing i can mention is we already have a groove video library added into it um groove member version 1 we were trying to create a groove video library but but it just works with a different technology and it it a lot it it just requires a lot more tinkering and it, it's much harder to do it with a version 2 it's much easier to do it that's why we already have it and um and honestly i want to provide uh, this is just my opinion. I want to. I I would want to provide uh, everybody the new builder in the version 1.0, but I would even more want to see version two come out of sandbox quicker. So that's just a dilemma. I do not know what the Barshi and the devs decided to do, but I will find out. All right. So that's basically it. What I had about. Uh, 
from the, from the questions on the on the Facebook post. Let me just jump over to the to the faith to the comments of that live stream that we are doing right now. Okay, where we are. Perfect. Cool. So Tropical Cabbage has a question. I understand GrooveMail is in Sandbox right now. Can we still use GrooveForm to capture names and email addresses that we still uh, that we will be able to eventually deliver emails to? Tropical Cabbage, you can already deliver emails in, in GrooveMail through the Sandbox mode. Just hook up your, uh, your external SMTP email providers, and then you can already send out emails. Um, yeah, there was an announcement a couple of weeks back. If you haven't seen it, you can rewatch it. Uh, but you can now send emails through GrooveMail just by using your own SMTP. For the Groove GrooveMail SMTP as being worked on, that's not going to come out for the moment. Uh, we're still improving that, making sure that it's it's uh, bulletproof. Any approximate dates when the updated group member will get out of sandbox mode? Um, I do not have an, an approximate date. I just mentioned it earlier. Um, we are working towards that, but we also want the fixes that you guys reported uh, all to be done. Thank you, David Lemon. Your time, knowledge, and energy is appreciated so very much. You are keeping me company as I clean and disinfect my flooded storage. <laughs> all right. Good, good. It's good to clean with you, Tyra. Um, I should do that myself as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully you're going to keep me company while I'm cleaning one day. Hopefully you get to the point while I'm that I'm listening to your teachings as well. All right, AR champion or is here. Hey yo, uh, Gilmar. Hello everyone. Hi David, glad to be here. Good to have you here, Gilmar. Adrian is here. Question: Is it possible to set up a groove mail using info at my domain? Um, yes, absolutely. You would just need to have an email sender uh, connected to SendGrid, but make sure that you can receive emails to this info to this info at mydomain.com. If you cannot receive emails to this this address, then you wouldn't be able to connect it. So if you can receive emails, then you can verify it. If you can verify it, you can send out uh, emails through this. Uh, my suggestion is, Adrian, uh, even though you can create a generic email like this, I don't suggest it because um, um, Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo, Yandex, Zoho, and the other email inboxing softwares, they want to see email coming from people, not from robots and companies. So in certain cases, while your email sender is not warmed up yet, people don't like have it uh, marked as favorites and, and the reply to those emails and things like that, um, your emails are not warm enough yet. So a lot of times the inbox softwares will put these types of emails into the spam or promotion or updates and stuff. So what we suggest, and, and that's Donna Fox created a training especially on this topic as well, um, she was teaching it on Groovathon and also in the Fast Start Marketing Lab. Um, that name at company or name at domain.com is the best thing that you can come up with as a new sender because it's personalized. It looks like it's coming from a person. It's not coming from a company. It is, um, it is an email address that you're using for sending and receiving emails. And that's what Google likes. Google likes to... Google likes to provide emails to the inbox that are coming from people, coming from users, coming from friends. And by having your name at something, it's going to prioritize and it's going to put it more often inside the inbox instead of the promotions or updates uh, folders. So that's my suggestion. You can, but I don't suggest it. Um, when GrooveMail version 2 will be available, please. I actually answered that one, so I'm going to skip this question. Looking forward to the importing context and uh, that this goes smoothly for everyone. Me too, David. Me too. Um, I'm setting up a product funnel in GrooveSell. Can I set up a front-end product with an order bump and OTO? Or is OTO coming soon? What is the best way to deliver digital files using GrooveMail? Through Webhook? Using GrooveMember? Um... Well, OTOs are just upsells, upsells that that you offer only once. 
that you don't have in your website, that you don't promote that offer on your website, that you actually um, don't allow coming back to it in some sort. OTO is if somebody goes through your funnel as an upsell page, they will see that offer only once and not and they will not be offered again in your dashboard in the future um, through through different funnels. So that's the OTO. It's just basically an upsell page. Um, so if you're asking, you can sell a front end with a bump, and after that, you redirect them to an upsell page. That's basically the flow for that one. Um, what is the best way to deliver the digital files using GrooveMail through a webhook you're using GrooveMember? Digital files, you can deliver them directly from GrooveSell. So if this is something that you can upload as a file, for example, a PDF or a, a music like MP3 or, uh, or WAV or FLAC file or an image or a zip file with software or, or I don't know, a bundle, bundle of images or something like that, if you can upload that to... Uh, Google Drive or or somewhere else you could you could deliver that in email but you could also upload them these files directly to Groove and have Groove self fulfill and send out those files immediately to your users so you could do that through Groove Mail or you could do that through Groove Cell directly um, but you could use you could use Groove Member for that one as well. It's just whatever you prefer. I don't know what the what the files are exactly, but all three are options. It just, it just depends what kind of experience you want to provide. Um, yeah. Has there been any new trainings on the platform yet so we can go through with all the latest changes? I haven't done builds um, since quite some time now about uh, about any of our platforms i'm doing more announcements and i'm doing more how to use a specific feature i didn't do full-on guided builds however there are a lot of our super users as we call them that are that are creating these types of content um, so if you go into youtube you can search for kevin strite or you can search for uh let me just see um groove pages build for example, I'm going to show my screen. You can see here, uh, this is Rob over here. This is UR Inc. This, this, some of these are new, like three months old, uh, one year, one year, two months old. There is a, there's Amy Vo creating trainings. So I stopped creating uh, walkthroughs and builds because that's just very time consuming and I'm focusing more on the on the testing of the different features and uh, and making sure the software works as it should. So I don't do builds anymore, but there are our customers that are that are kind of the super users. They are doing the training. So if you're doing um, any kind of system setup with uh, Groove Mail, Groove Mail tutorial, for example. Just have a look at Groove Mail tutorial. There is Amy Vo four months ago. There is going to be here we go. Uh, Groove Mastery. How to set up Groove Mail with SMTP. There they do these kind of uh, walkthroughs and and things like that. So there is also uh, Kevin Strite with Groove Tutorials. Um, they do these longer trainings. <clears throat> We 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 don't do these or I don't do these anymore. We will have guided trainings like this later on, but at this moment we are more focusing on providing you these types of updates, how to use a specific feature, and um, and then the builds and the creative stuff that I did previously. You can learn from other users. Just, just try to search on YouTube. Uh, you'll find a lot of content about about everything really. Will Pabli be integrated? Yes, that's the plan. We we are in contact with them. I don't really know where it stopped. Um, I know that they were waiting for some documentation. Um, I'll need to follow up. Where where are we in that process? Um, brum, 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 brum. Okay, I'll try to find one in the Groovathon video for the pricing tier. Um, just wait a little bit. We are going to be doing uh, announcements on that one as well. Uh, because the ones that we we kind of showed is completely changed by now. Is Black Friday the last day for the lifetime offer on Groove? We are starting our launch on Black Friday. It's going to be, uh, it's going to moving into December that we are ending the the lifetime deal of Groove. 
there was an email sent out so have a look through through your emails drew um from uh from mike phil same you can you can find the email with exact dates with the exact information when it starts how long does it run and when it's uh, when it's ending uh this group stream a uh, groove and have the capability okay uh scott group stream is not done yet what we what i showed you last time is just uh is just a mock-up so it does not have any capabilities because it's just not done yet. Uh, you can request these features, but it's not something that I will be answering right now because it's just not even done. Not even the sandbox mode, not even the, the MVP. We What I showed you is just a mock-up of, of the design UI perspective of what we want to do. Uh, is there a way to make a form fillable once? Do you mean like like you fill it once and then it's not available anymore uh, we don't have that functionality if that's what you're asking um but i'm not quite sure if i understand this question if you could if you could explain it so there is that would be great uh question is there a time frame for group blog will have an undo and redo icon at the top of the editing page i believe we have that let me just see um group blog Let's just go in, let's just go into posts. And let's just go in here. Oh yeah, we were thinking about it. We didn't add it yet. Uh, great question. I'm not sure. Um, we had that on the on the feature request and I know that we already started working with that, but uh, I believe there were some other prior priorities. So we had to stop, but um, we have that on the on the list of things we want to we, we are working on uh, i even thought that it was already out um but i do not have an eta but i know that we already worked on it so it shouldn't be it shouldn't be long how do you add the mail gun smtp can see where it goes and one extra question how do i get my money from group pay can see any transfer section uh gary when you actually created a group pay account you provided your bank account or, or kind of uh, uh bank details like bank account number or some some sort of stuff um there should be an option to to withdraw, withdraw the, the funds and if you need more help reach out to the support of group pay um, I don't use GroovePay every day because it's just not available for my country right now. So I wouldn't be able to point you to the right direction. Um, but uh, but reach out to the support team. They would be able to assist you. On that note, and adding Mailgun SMTP is just basically like adding the SendGrid, uh, SendGrid account. You just need to um uh, paste in your api details so you go here into senders you create a sender and then here in mailgun you provide the username password for for when you're logging in webhook signing key and then uh the webhook url they they provide this webhook url for for tracking the opens click bounds and spam events so username and password you basically put in how you log in to the to mailgun and then the webhook details they give you from the mailgun system i don't have an account with mailgun so i i cannot directly show it to you right now but uh but have a look just search through their uh through their documentation or ask their support where can you get the webhook url or sorry webhook signing key and that's going to to um to get get you the the communication but it's just username and password to connect it um, to get more profits as entrepreneurs, ClickFunnels does it well. Product highlights and select default product. I saw this feature request. It's available there. Um, it adds a yellow background box for the pricing level. We do pricing, uh, pricing product pricing differently. I saw this post also in the Facebook group and also in the feature request, and it's good to have it there, but we just have different designs this is extra functionality and i even saw how you provided the notes on how to do it but what we do is just different than than what click funnels does so what you did is is some sort of modifications here we will have different designs but we are focusing more on the functionalities right now this is something that is 
supposed to be on the feature request portal you added it and thank you for it but you'll need to wait out until until we kind of prioritize that as one of the things that we need to do we have a lot of functionalities that we want to add to groove cell to groove affiliate to groove pages and we are using the feedback portal feature request um we are looking into the upvotes and uh, and the requests in order to kind of prioritize and decide what goes next with the devs I read and approve and kind of um, mark and note each and every feature request and bug that is getting reported. So I saw that request. Uh, if it's there, then it's it's basically seen. So thank you for that. Ivor Livingston uh, came in late, but did you have an update on Groove Member? Yes, Ivor, I did. Uh, I did provide a, uh, an update. In Groove Blog, custom domain URLs, setup options, do you only allow for one subfolder, like blog, one subdirectory? Can you specify three or four subfolders? Uh, no, that's that's not something we, we, we want to do. One subfolder. Why would you want to go into multiple blog forward slash something forward slash something or or even blog and... Uh, and blog one or or news or articles that's just not 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 something that we we plan to do any of the platforms that i use so far doesn't doesn't provide this functionality so uh, even what we created so far was super hard for us to do it required a lot of tinkering and, and uh, involvement in a lot of different uh, teams and outside companies to actually provide the server capabilities to do it so at this moment we don't plan to do it uh, and I don't even see the, the point of it. So if you want something like this, create a feature request. We'll see how many people upvote it, if they find it useful. But at this point, I don't see that very useful. So um, I, I would say we are not going to do it, but it's not me who are deciding. It's uh, most of the time users and the founders deciding what's getting done. Um, I don't have any updates, unfortunately. How far is the IP warming process for GrooveCart? GrooveCart doesn't have any IP warming process. Uh, so GrooveMail, yeah. Um, GrooveMail, uh, I don't know where we are right now with uh, IP warming. We're working on a lot of different things. It's not only the warming, it's also setting up the servers and the, and the sending and the receiving and the things like that. So um, I don't have an update, unfortunately, on that part. I'm selling ebooks alone, uh, not memberships, courses, etc. Can it be sold from Groove Pages, or it always has to be sold through the link with Groove Mail? Um, if you're selling ebooks, if you're selling the actual PDF or selling an EPUB file or a Mobi file, uh, you can upload it to Groove Member and not the membership portal. Just go to Groove Member Files. You upload it there. It's kind of the file hosting of Groove of the Groove system. <clears throat> and then when you're selling it through Groove Cell, you can just fulfill it automatically. You don't have to create a Groove Mail email delivery. Um, you can just have Groove Cell send out the emails. Oh, sorry, send out the, the files directly to the customers who purchased. That would be the easiest thing to do. I created a form in thank you page saying send a gift to a friend. It asks both for, e for both emails. Then once submitted, it redirects to another page. But what if they keep going back to resubmit? Um, there's there's not much that you could do about that, unfortunately. There is no way to kind of block it, block form. And most of the form uh, form platforms that I've seen so far uh, don't provide that functionality. So um, what you could do is. Send a gift to a friend. What I would do, I would create a, um, I would create a Groove Cell product and make it free, or make it if it is free. Let's just see. Basing. Um, yeah, if it is free or if it is paid, I don't know. But I would create a Groove Cell form and uh, set it up as a, as, a, as a free product and there ask for, for an extra email. Then use webhooks to kind of uh, 
uh, do the rest, kind of the sending out the emails to the friend, sending out the, the emails to the customer. Thank you very much. We received it. We already sent an email to your friend and things like that. But that's just me. May, you may not use webhooks. What you could do is create a thank you thank you page on a, on a jumbled up URL. I call it jumbled up because a, a combination of, of random characters and, uh, and numbers would give you a feel that it's a it's a custom made page for one user specifically. Um, a lot of you, a lot of uh, users and a lot of professionals do this. So the thank you page or a page that they don't want to be seen, they do just a, a domain.com for slash xy4q2h305. I don't know, some random characters and, and numbers. And it looks like it has been auto generated for one specific user it gives the feeling of security and people will not try to uh, kind of uh, copy the link or something like that um, and they will not try to resubmit but even if they resubmit you're going to see the actual submission so you you can kind of stop that in and it's track so every form if you're using GrooveMail form you're you're receiving the, the the actual submissions, so you can uh, you can act on that feedback yourself. Hi, David. Is Groove Webinar part of Groove Pages? I uh, bought in Groove. I bought Groove in 2020. What do I have to set up to do Groove Webinar? Must have Groove Page. Other uh, Groove Webinar is a part of Groove CM system. So. Groove has one product, really. Groove CM is one product. That's basically it. Um, if you purchased Groove, um, then you have access to all of the apps. Uh, there are still users that purchased only Groove Pages. Then you have access to some of the some of the functionalities in Groove Pages and Groove Cell, but you may not have the others. The best is to reach out to support and see what you actually have. I know that we were running the promotion, and I actually also bought the in uh, 2000, 2020, no, 2019. I purchased Groove Pages only as a start, and. Um, and I was okay with that. So, so if you purchase only Groove pages, reach out to support and see what what things you would you would need in order to get access to the other stuff. Uh, in media files, are there plans to allow us to send and add up add two or three additional free URL platforms for file, in addition to our own computer media files and your one free media platform? Uh, you could create a feature request. I can see how that could be useful. We will um, we will have this kind of functionality in Groove Member, where it's actually um, you uploading your files, uh, and we will add a link URL uh, file option as well. So in case you you have some of your files in Groove, you can add that on. But if you have some of your other files in Dropbox or Google Drive, you'll be able to add those in as well. Um, Scott, just create a feature request and, and we'll get from there. Oh, Groove pages handle web images. Groove pages already handle web images. Yes. Is there a way to use nav element for one page site so the links would go to blocks instead of other page? Yes. Um, you could do that very simply just by select. I'm going to share my screen in a moment. Um, okay, here. Actually, let me get into this other site. We already have a menu. So in case you have a have a menu on here, I'm going to delete this block first. You can see that I have a couple of pages on here, and I do not want to show most of these. So let me just let me just hide them. Okay, one more. There we go. So now I have now I have a little bit easier uh, navigation on here. So this is my nav menu. If you click in between some of these buttons, uh, you can click configure and then set up an external link. You set up an external link. You say um, block number two or something, 
and that's going to show this is going to be the label this is going to show in the navigation and you can attach the link to a block okay you see the block is one of the options so you can choose the block so you have block one two three four five and so on how do you know which block is which you can go in and click so i clicked on the first one this is one block you can see here this is a, this is a block and here where it says block you can rename it so i can just rename it to navigation block okay here we go so i can click on the second block over here let me just here we go. So we have the, the second block, and I'm going to call this as a contact us block. Perfect. So now that I come back over here, I didn't save my previous work, so I'm going to start from, from the beginning. I add on one external link. I'm just going to uh, say link to block and attach link to a block that I just called contact us block, for example, okay? And that's basically it. So you, you can name your blocks. Each and every block on the page can be named. And then you're going to be seeing those here inside the uh, choose block for link section. That's it, it's pretty simple. Now, when you click update, it's going to show another here, link to block. And it's going to uh, it's going to basically scroll down to the section where uh, when the user visits the page and, and clicks to this link. So hopefully that helps. So this way you can create one one page sites, and it's pretty cool that we have this. All right, I see. Rob has a question. What is the best way to have an affiliate of our own product to get them set up a PayPal and sign a 9, 1099 form online? Um, I believe PayPal handles that by itself. So you may not need that form with, with PayPal. How is Groove doing this? Carter had it part of their sign-up process. I don't see that with Groove. With Groove, we will have that. But at this moment, Groove is doing 1099s for, for all of its users. Uh, by itself um, but I believe um, if I'm correct Angie Norris said that PayPal handles that by itself Angie Norris uh, I believe she was that don't hold me for, uh, on this but uh, when she is paying out uh, users through PayPal I believe she mentioned that PayPal handles all of those forms uh, it's kind of uh, inbuilt into into their system so you may not even need that Rob just look into that one last question. Can the dev just give the color option for group member version one to change the buttons and the color to in pink to something else is the only thing I'm waiting for since a year. Um, I don't think that that's going to happen, Lido, because we're closer to, to finishing version two in group member version two than um, I mentioned earlier that it's really hard to to develop for the version one because it is it is a canvas base that is related to groove pages so the groove pages team needs to come over there and then the groove pages will not be de developed and it's just it's just not something we plan to kind of develop further group member version two already have has these functionalities built in it just needs a little bit more time until we provide the actual functionality to go live with the memberships and that's going to be definitely faster than if we would now go into uh, the development of the version one that's going to be old anyways very soon i know it's it's a pain in the behind but but unfortunately that's the decision that we had to make uh, hello david i wanted to use quizzes to drive potential customers to purchase any of my digital products courses coaching etc what would be your suggestion as how to do this um what is the diff what what is your purpose for the quizzes quizzes can be kind of good for segmentation and then you drive them to a, to a specific funnel so we don't have groove quiz uh, ready yet but you can do that with any of the quizzes quiz platforms just find one that you that, that you find easy to manage and basically create an offer for those people let's just say you create a quiz to find out different types of personality for your specific course or specific specific coaching so now you understand that there is three types of people and for those three types of people you may have three types of offers or you may well you may have one type of offer but you just present it 
that this is the exact thing that that these personalities will need so it can be managed different ways i do not know what your plan is and what your goal is with these quizzes but have a look into uh, into some tools that will provide you the quiz functionalities and just drive them to sales funnel in groove cell it's just a link or you can drive them to a page a sales page uh, in groove pages which then provides them a groove cell checkout fun functionalities so it could go a lot of different ways um, but it would need to be done through an external quiz platform we change the font on a page settings later on will text change automatically if they are on font default um yes yeah i'm using the navigation block where the logo is in center and the menu link is left and right of the logo on mobile it shows uh one any idea how to do that it shows one what it show one any idea um I'm not sure i understand if you could explain it that would be great I would like to give a suggestion on Groove could possibly position himself and create a new category and dominate online market softwares. Next logical step to introduce a flywheel concept. Groove has already all tools. Uh, you just need to reposition, like funnels are not sufficient anymore. You need a flywheel. Okay. Even HubSpot, HubSpot is promoting this concept very strong. What are your thoughts on it? I have not, I have no clue what is a flywheel. Let's just see. Let's explore together. Marketing flywheel versus funnel. Let's just see what the flywheel is. In marketing funnel model, all uh, the force was applied to attract prospects and convert them. While in the flywheel system, more force is applied to delight those customers by making the purchase more satisfying and repeating them. All right. Not sure I understand. A look at the funnel versus fly in there. Comparison, the flywheel focuses on input while funnel focuses on output. The funnel is all about how many customers you can output. Your team puts in months of customers, uh, months into this customer for just one sale and no future returns, while the flywheel, the customer is the input. Oh, I'm not quite sure I understand the difference in the flywheel model. But that's why we're here. We're learning together. Uh, the, how the flywheel model drives business growth and customer delight. Okay. Explain the momentum you gain when you align your entire organization around deliver mar a remarkable customer experience. It is a remarkable. Give me an example. With Flywheel, you use the momentum of your happy customers to drive referrals and repeat sales. Basically, your business keeps spinning. But that's just basically what we do. You can set up this already with, with funnels. I don't I don't think that this is something very different that we do. You your product is something that makes the, the actual customers want to want to have more and the, the type of marketing that you do. So if you build a community around it, uh, around your product or a membership then you basically have a flywheel. A flywheel, I don't understand this flywheel concept, but um, but that's just basically what it does, what we do with, with Groove as well. Um, give us, Francisco, give us, uh, give us some ideas on how exactly do you think that could be improved and we'll look into it for sure, but I do not fully understand. It's basically every business is is having a funnel every business has a flywheel does it work or not that's just that's just a question but i don't think that that's something spectacular big change that we should kind of build towards it's a community-based selling no Anyway, that's not the point of our Q&A, so I'm going to close this over. Um, if you guys want, you can explore more this flywheel concept. But Francisco, if you have more uh, more input, uh, let us know what you think. Um, okay, sorry, I went to Groove Cell to earlier, not Groove Mail. No worries, uh, that's fine. Groove Cell is the way to go for your for your setup. 
All right. Um, so I came to the end of the questions. I will be wrapping up, ladies and gentlemen. This was um, this was the Q and A for today. This is Tuesday, sixteenth of November. We are going to be having the next Q and A next week. I'm going to be sp skipping the Friday one because I need to do some um, some some extra work with the team inside Groove. Uh, we'll have a couple of meetings and and some uh, some different sessions. So I'm going to skip that one. So meet you next Tuesday back for another Q and A. In case you have questions in the meantime. Time, you can reach out on the on the Facebook group or go to the support.groovedigital.com and you can get some support there. And until then, I wish you a pleasant rest of the week. And yeah, hopefully see you next week as well. Thank you guys. Bye bye. All right, I cannot end the broadcast. An error occurred, so I guess you're stu stuck with me. Let me just refresh.